There is, in human beings, it seems, a natural curiosity to know what has come before. Who has passed this way? What were they doing? And ultimately, how does their life connect with ours? Before written language, the knowledge of the world was passed to succeeding generations through the spoken word or graphic representation. In the unconnected universe of human development, a culture could seemingly develop, flourish briefly, and then die away. Yet somehow at least part of the knowledge a culture gains does not die away. It becomes part of the succeeding generation's understanding. All knowledge, we believe, is cumulative. That is, it builds upon itself. To truly understand who we are today and how we know what we know, we must understand what the people of the past knew, when they knew it, and how they knew it. Did knowledge, in fact, develop in this orderly way, or did it rise and fall throughout human history? Why are there so many different cultures, so many different beliefs? How can one culture have only the uses of stone tools, and another, at the same time, have metal tools? Archaeology seeks answers to these questions. It is part of the social science anthropology. And while anthropology is a study of human groups, Archaeology is concerned with human groups from the past. It is a relatively new science. For many centuries, the artifacts of past cultures were viewed as curiosities and treasure first, and as objects to be studied second, if at all. Museums were filled in a frantic and competitive gathering of artifacts. However, knowledge was lost forever, as artifacts were removed from the context of their surroundings. But in the midst of this collecting, some archaeological principles became known. One was the understanding that how deep an artifact lies in the earth indicates its relative age. A systematic removal of the layers and the artifacts found within the layers provided an idea of what was used when. In the 20th century, the advances of science brought even more help in unraveling the past. Radiocarbon dating made it possible to accurately determine the age of an artifact. A process called flotation aided recovery of plant remains and other fine scale materials. Remote sensing of a landscape through geomagnetic surveying can accurately predict past human activity before excavation. DNA extraction identifies plant and animal residue on the edges of tools. Computers have quickened the pace of compiling massive data into meaningful findings, and advanced materials analysis has provided insights into how and where things were made. Today's archaeologists are as much concerned with the how and why of an artifact as the what and where. They want to understand how it relates to the development of the culture, and just as importantly, to preserve and protect the sites where they are found. We know of no human culture that doesn't record its history. Understanding comes from the ability to interpret the record. In fact, 99% of what we know about the past comes from archaeological study. As other sciences progress, new methods of study are open to archaeology. Each year, new understanding of why we are the way we are and why we believe as we do becomes more understood. The intrigue of archaeology is not the race to uncover new artifacts, but the knowledge of how we as humans made the journey through time.